Okay, so we've got a composite door here that's dropped. Looking at the inside of the door, obviously, it's dropped down like that over time. So we need to adjust it back. And we're going to take a look at these hinges, which have a cap on the top and a cap underneath. You pop those caps off. They look like that. Just use a little Stanley knife, pop them off. And then they are a five millimeter Allen key. And what you need to do is adjust the bottom one. So you see on this one, you screw in, door goes up, screw out, door drops down. So I've screwed them out now, and now the door is completely binding on the lower part there. So we've got to now screw them back in and then raise all the door up. So I'll do that now. Right, I'll come back to you when I've done all three hinges. Right, so what you can see here is that the I've raised it up now. All right, so let's just test the door and it works fine, except after you've locked it and then you you try to unlock it and it just catches. And you have to fanny about with this and it's all it's doing is damaging the door more and more and more. And actually, if you look at the top, you see that the gap there on the right side is wider than the gap on the left, which suggests that the door's dropped down like that. So now that we've raised it up a bit, we now need to adjust the door like that, and that would have to be something on the hinge. So now we want the door to close up that way because it's leaning out and that's why it's catching on the, the latch. So we want to bring it back, it's, it's sunk over time, we want to bring it back that way. And the way we do that is with these, each of the hinges has a bolt in the middle, but it's got a, a nut head on the top. And what you need is it's a bit of an odd size, nine millimeter, spanner and you just rotate it up that will drive that in and that will bring the door that way if you want to go the other way obviously you rotate it anti-clockwise by pulling down all right so we want it to come that way in so we're going to rotate it up and keep checking it until we get the right gap okay so that gap it's closed up on the left. The gap at the top is a bit more even. The gap on the right is a bit more even, although it's the door is warped, I think. If you put a spirit level on the side of that door, it's warped. But that has uh, solved the problem anyway. The door is not catching anymore. Before, it was catching on these lugs. But it's not doing it now because I've straightened it up. I've moved it that way by adjusting those hinges. Anyway, that's how you do that.